Okay, so Happy New Year everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm attempting to make about 50 of these pencil holders made out of recycled skateboards. And this was inspired by Ishitani Furniture and I just love how the grain wraps around the entire hexagon pencil holder and I just really like the geometry of how it looks. And last time I tried to make pencil holders, it took about two or three months. It took a long time. So for this one, I wanna to try to do it a lot faster than that. So so over the holiday, I made a bunch of these planks out of skateboards and just to speed this whole thing up, let me show you exactly what I did. I picked up 10 skateboards per block and I ended up using 40 different skateboards for this project. I peeled off the grip tape using the Gripper 5000 and it's literally just a toaster oven with slow rotating motor. And then I cross cut them into different sections and I'll be using just the middle portion of the skateboards. And then I sanded it down to bare wood using angle grinder with a carving disc. And I'll have the link in the description for those of you asking what type of disc I use to do this. And then I resaw them in half using the bandsaw. After that, I used Total Boat 2 to 1 high performance epoxy to laminate them together. Epoxy fill in the gaps and gives you much stronger lamination than glue. Once the epoxy cures, I clean up the two sides of the blocks using the jointer and then resaw them into quarter inch planks. And then I could run it through the drum sander to make it nice and flat and smooth. And then finally, I cut it down to its final width on the table saw, which is three and a half inches. Now, since most of you don't have a bunch of skateboards laying around, let me show you how you could do it with just one skateboard. Degrip, cross cut, sand, and use the table saw to cut them into 5 8 inch strips. And then use the epoxy to laminate them together for a strong bond. If you don't have a drum sander, you're most likely going to have to send this through a planer. And it should be safe with glue, but you just never know what's gonna happen when you send materials this thin through the planer. And then I could clean it up and sand it down to the right thickness using the drum sander, which is little thicker than a quarter inch. And then finally, I could cut it down to its final width, which is three and a half inches. And here's the plank made out of just one skateboard. Now, for everyone else that doesn't have any skateboard laying around, you could just go through your scrap pile and find quarter inch thickness material that's about 14 inches in length and three and a half inches in width and skip whatever I just did for the last two weeks and I Okay, so now that we have these little planks, uh, we have to cut a little dado so that we could put this little plate in there. And I'm using eight inch material, so a regular table saw blade should be fine, but idealistically, you wanna use a flat tooth table saw blade so that you can have a nice little groove. So let's do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, half inch away from the blade, or away from the fence, and just about half the thickness of the material, which is about an eighth of an inch, so. Okay. Plug it in. Safety goggles, hearing protection. Perfect. I'm using these eighth inch acrylic sheets from Amazon. And you're gonna know what's gonna happen next later. For now, I need to finish cutting these up, so let's do that. Okay, so now that I have all the dados cut, and I don't know if you could hear my neighbor's music, but I have to cut it into these little shapes, and we have to do something called a compound miter cut. So essentially, what we're doing is setting the blade at a 60 degree angle, and cutting these planks, I think it's less than five degrees. So, 
two different angles, compound miter cuts. And I already made this jig before, but it's really simple. At first, when I didn't know how to do woodworking, I thought it, this was really complex, but now that I know a little bit about woodworking, let me show you how to make this real quick. Okay, so this is the one that I use to cut the dado. This is the flat tooth, flat, okay? And this is the table saw blade I've been using for the last, I don't know, maybe two years now. And it's called Ultimate Plywood and Laminate by Freud. And uh, yeah, a lot of gunk, but this is my go-to. So for the new year, I got myself a new one. So let's put this on. Uh, let's wear the apron is safer. Okay, so now that I have the correct blade on, I have it set to 90 degrees to the table. Let me just lower this. And I have a piece of scrap here and I'm going to cut out the runners and then uh, stick it on. So let's do that. Now, you always want to glue it up so that when you flip the sled, you can use it on this side and you know what I'm saying? Just go right on the half. All right, so. After the CA glue, all right, let's see how we did. Perfect. Nice. Put it on this side. Flip it over. Okay. Now, we need to set the blade at 60 degrees, so. And I like using these uh, digital calipers. This is how it should look like. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the blade and cut this. Now, I cut this out on the CNC machine and I'm gonna have these templates available. And you don't really have to have it, but it just makes it so much easier. And what I did is I just put this against the fresh cut edge and I just traced it out, bing, bing, bing. And then I flipped it and then gave myself a little bit of room in between and then traced it out and this is what you have. Now, what I have to do now is add a stop block right over here, just like this, and then add two more right here and right here somewhere, like this. Something like that. So, let me do that. That should do it. Okay, so this is the final jig. This is how it looks like. Now, what's gonna happen is the dado is right here and that dado goes face down on this side. You get a nice clean cut and then on this, you flip it this way. Dado is still down and then you lean it against this stop and then and then that's one. 
and then back over, same thing. Dado is right here against this side, face down, and then repeat. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I added this. For this, I could use the other hand on this side to pull it back. But when I'm over here holding this down, kind of hard to grab on this, so I could use this to pull it. Let me just show you. And if you feel like this is too close for your comfort, you could always use toggle clamps and you could clamp it to this and then you could clamp another one here. So there's plenty enough space here for you to add toggle clamps to reach, okay? Let me show you. Check this out. I just finished cutting all these at the table saw and these are just held by tape right now. And uh, pretty much I'm ready to glue these up. Now, remember the little slot and the groove that we cut and that's for the bottom of the pencil holder case. And so instead of using recycled skateboard and doing a ton of work for just a veneer that you're never even gonna see, I decided to just use acrylic. And uh, Eric from Cutworks, he helped me cut these out on his laser and did some little logo engraving and it looks really nice and I had to do some little bit of cleaning and uh, sanded it down flat so it's kind of like a frosty look really nice and you're never even gonna see this anyway so it doesn't really matter so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just start gluing these up and you could always just use glue tape to glue these up and just stretch out the glue tape you're good to go now I have these little clamps here that I just cut out on the CNC machine. So what I'm going to do is use that. And pretty much this is for the bottom and this is for the top. Nice and secure. So let's do 50 of those. Whew. Okay, so I've been gluing these up for a bit now and it's been getting a lot faster and faster. And I've been learning a few tips and tricks along the way. So let me share them with you. So I unwrap this, open it up, and I only put the glue on the slots, or I don't put glue on where the acrylic's going to go because it's gonna get messy. So I'm just gonna squeeze some in there, right in between in the middle. Even before you put the acrylic in, just go ahead and fold it up a little bit and let all the glue squeeze out. And then open it back up and we're gonna clean it up a little bit, just a dab of water. And this is the inside anyway, so it doesn't even matter if it has a little bit of glue, but you wanna get majority of it off as much as possible. Now, peel the backing off on the acrylic, put it in there, fold it over. And with the tape, just kind of line up the lines. And then we're gonna take it off these clamps because it's been a while. This in. Check to see if it's perfectly aligned. Next. 
top clamp. All right. Now there's still gonna be a little bit of glue squeeze out in there. So you just wanna clean that up, get a wet rag, strike those lines, and get all that glue off. It's kind of tight fit. So I'm just kind of wetting it a little bit and then use a little brush and just scrub off all that glue. And that'll make it nice and clean so you don't have to like sand inside and and you're not, like I said, you're not gonna even see the inside of this pencil holder, so it doesn't even really matter, but you know, I just wanna be a little bit clean. Don't forget to clean the bottom too. That's it. Take the tape off from the new one or the one that already got glued up. That's it. And then you do the next one. So let's prep the clamp first this time. I don't know if you could hear, but my neighbor's been watching a lot of like cops and 9-11 stuff. So that's his TV. So this one's all glued up. We got the clamps ready. And we'll just pull up the next one. And we're done. And then we do the next one. And then we do the next one. using those uh, clamping jigs. And so now we can move on to the next step, which is sanding. Now it's fairly easy to sand each of them and just gonna go over it with the random orbital sander for the outside and the inside. I'm just gonna hand sand a little bit just to get the sharp edges off. Other than that, fairly quick, but doing 55 of them, it's gonna take some time. So yeah. Oh, I really don't wanna sand right now. Okay, now for finishing, I'm going to make it nice and easy and just use Total Boat's Wood Honey Wipe On Wipe Off Finish. Real simple, you just literally wipe it on and you wipe it off and that's it. So let's do that. Okay, so here it is. Bunch of pencil holders made out of recycled skateboards. For this project, I ended up using 40 different skateboards and I have four different styles available on my website, which is wobi.design. And I hope this video made it really easy for you to make it as well. And 
Just to make it even easier, I'll have the digital files available for free to download and you could just print it out and trace it out if you don't have a CNC machine or you could just throw it into your CNC machine. But either way, I want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to make it too. And I want to give a huge shout out to Eric from Cutworks and it made it so much easier for me to not make more veneers to go on the bottom side of these pencil holders and just laser it out with his laser machine and it just made it so much easier. So, Eric, thank you. After learning how to do compound matter cuts, I'm getting a little bit of inspiration. And just by looking at this, I had an idea of just putting a round circular top. And if this is big enough, it could be a base. And I could make a nice little round table. I could have two of them and have like a little hot dog shape. That would be really cool. So it was really interesting to learn about compound miter cuts after, I don't know, what, six, seven years of doing woodworking? Okay, so that's it for this video. Now, some of you guys asked what's going on with the van, and to be honest, I'm still working on it. And this stage of the van build is a little bit tricky, and I'd never done it before. So I'm trying to make sure I had create a really good system so that, you know, even if I make mistakes in the future, I could always go back and fix it. So yeah, it's taking a while. And to be honest, my wife's pregnant, and things have been really chaotic, so. Stay tuned, I'm still working on the van. Thanks for watching and make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button and comment down below what you think about these uh, pencil holders as well as learning how to use compound miter cuts to make bigger furniture in the future. So, thanks again and until next time.